Okay, folks, we've got we've got the front welded on here. I don't know how well you can see that, but got all the brackets welded on and the, the front ends on it. Uh, still don't have a bump or a balance that goes underneath the bumper. Not a big deal. I went ahead and put the front on. Hood lines up really good. I was really impressed. You know, this is a non-adjustable, so I shut it and it shut right. Body lines are perfect. So we know we got our front end left to right fine. Uh, I'm ready to do the water pump. And I know I should have done it before I put the front on, but it's not a big deal. Uh, you know, it's only four bolts. So I bought a new one, and the reason I bought a new one, when you turn this thing, as you can see, it stops in the same place every time. So we definitely don't want to run it. So uh, I knew we wanted about $34. So we'll go ahead and get it on and, and then uh, start getting it all back together. I think a radiator, water pump, and the fan, and the belt, just little stuff like that. All right. Okay, folks, it didn't take long to notice the problem with the water pump. If you uh, look, you can see it's pushed all the way back. And this one's got a gap in it. So uh, that's why it was feeling tight in one spot. The turn and it just don't feel right. Uh, you know, it's pressed through there, so I'm sure it just pushed it back. It ain't hitting the cover, but but yeah, it's definitely shot. So we'll get our new one on here. All right, folks, water pump's on. Pulley's on. Spins good and straight. No problems. Uh, got the idler pulley i gotta put it back on right here and i checked it but you know when you're doing this if you got the belt off it's a good time to check the idler pulleys and i'll let you hear this one shot the heck uh hopefully that got the, the tensioner i don't know i think we can take it off and replace this pulley but i think i've got a tensioner back there on another one we'll check it and see how it is the one i'm getting a radiator out of so uh anyway We'll have to change it out, but I do have this one, and it's a good one. Let me see. I'll get it on there, and we'll keep rolling with it. Okay, folks, here's my... Oil cooler, oil cooler lines, uh, something I found I don't like. Someone has put a lot of Permatex on it. You can see it's co covered part of the hole. I, that, I hate that because uh, I tore, tore a lot of engines down and found a lot of Permatex in the pickup screen. And, you know, sometimes just about as enough of it to clog the damn thing up. So uh, I try not to use it or... When I do use it, I use it lightly on the gasket itself and make sure I don't get any in the damn ports. But uh, anyway, that's the new ones and there's the old ones. You can see we're crushed and bent. So we'll get them on and then uh, we can throw the radiator in. Okay, we got our oil cooler lines on. And there's the air compressor. But anyway, got our oil cooler lines on and I'm gonna have to change this whole plastic piece here. This is the block the radiator in but you can see my new fan shroud don't line up and that's because this this piece is actually for the four cylinder so we'll pull the one off them we're getting the radiator out of and uh, we'll change it out just got them pop-in clips and uh, it's probably all holding it in we'll just have to undo our pieces for our wires and uh, we'll go ahead and get the radiator in it at the same time and then we can get the radiator and get back together we're getting close very close okay we got our other piece off of our uh, v8 or i mean our v6 uh s10 as you can see there's a little bit of difference between it that's the uh one on top is for the v6 and this one's for the four cylinder and uh just a little wider radiator and shroud and stuff so we'll get it on get the radiator in okay folks we've got it all done here Everything's in just like it's supposed to be. Uh, hooked up, working. Air cleaner, new air filter. Uh, radiator's in. Put the battery in. My battery's a little bit too wide, but it goes in. Uh, don't put quite down in the hole good, but it's the only good side post I think I've got. And uh, 
you know, we changed the air cleaner box and all out from the other one. Now I, I used the original uh, mass airflow sensor and uh, everything else seemed to work out good. Changed that idler pulley. The one out back that I uh, had on the parts blazer was in real good shape. And uh, so everything's basically done under the hood. Uh, still got to do the back glass. Still got to do the, uh, the airbags and hopefully hunt up a uh, a uh, balance and I'll let you see how the hood lines up so we're good to go there and uh, like I said just the balance on the bottom and and back glass and airbags and we'll have it knocked out now I, I put the sensors on the front I'm gonna put the bags in or I'm gonna put at least one of the bags in We'll change the steering wheel back for sure. I may go ahead and pull this one, cut it out, and glue this on. And I'll just make sure and let the person that gets this thing know that uh, it's done. Got the piece of rubber missing around the shifter. I'll see if I've got it on the other one. Uh, just a few little things like that. we got to put, put some kind of stereo in it. I'm a stock stereo person myself. I prefer the stock stereos because uh, I can't uh, figure out half the other ones. And, not while I'm driving anyway, and then, uh, you know, when your eyes start getting a little bit bad, you don't like, uh, you want big buttons, let's put it that way. Alright, we'll get on it, get a, get a little more done, and uh, we'll try to finish up this video. Okay, folks, we're getting ready to take this back glass out of this truck. We're going to see how this works out. I'm actually using a tool I've never used before. A friend of mine brought this to me. And uh, he said once I used it, I'd want one, and I, so far I agree. Uh, this just uh, oscillates back and forth and cuts the glue. But uh, I've already got the other one already cut and ready. It's out, what was left of the glass anyway. So uh, we're going to try to cut this one and see how it goes. I've got my air compressor right here. And uh, get her hooked up. Maybe I can get somewhere where you can see. I was complaining about it cold the other day, now it's too damn going hot. Okay, we've got it all cut around except this side, and uh, I'm probably going to pull this panel off. The other one's come right off. I wasn't too worried about hurting anything on this. I mean, the parts truck, but I'm not going to be able to get in there to the glass with the cutter unless I take this plastic off. So we'll keep rolling with it. All right, there it is. It's out. Not the cleanest job in the world, but. Uh, it really don't matter. We're just trying to cut the old rubber, so. All right, let me show you what I can do on this window. I got it laying over here. You know, you might gotta take a razor blade or something. I'll just do this with one hand, maybe you can see. But, uh, this thing.
as you can see that thing works good now i didn't cut these bump outs off i think they're there for a reason but uh pretty easy to clean up with it too so we'll go ahead and get this glass all cleaned up and uh gotta get us a tube of the glue and we'll get it glued in uh it's not hard to get out though not with that tool uh he was right i'm definitely gonna i'm gonna invest in one and uh just says air knife 20,000 rpm and it's pretty safe around that window too it's you know the way it's made and all it uh i don't think it would knock it out bad but i had never seen one before so it says uh, exposure to vibration may be harmful to hands and arms that's probably just in california okay folks it's dirty but it's in uh I went ahead and put the glass in. It was late last night, it was after dark, so I didn't film anything, but uh, you know, there's nothing to it. You just put a, get a good, everything good and clean, and then you just put a bead of, uh, it's actually a uh, Hermitex, uh, it's like a black silicone uh, adhesive, but it's, you know, it's actually made for windows. And uh, you know, it's not the kind you use on an engine, but, but anyway, it's in and done. Put some tape on it just to hold it up where it wouldn't slide down, and then I, I sort of, stuck this in there just to hold it in and uh and you know one thing you want to do too you'll notice on the other side i got the window cracked a little bit you know i've done that before i closed the door because you don't want to close the door and have the windows up and uh it'll definitely uh push it out if you're uh you know if it's not dry but she should be ready to go uh good overnight so we'll get uh we'll get some glass cleaner and get it cleaned up but but another thing done anyway just one thing at a time but, all right and i did get the airbag in i don't know if i showed that or not so uh we're waiting on the balance now it's supposed to be here tomorrow uh, it was one of them deals about it you know it was $29 free shipping ships the same day I bought it uh, I think it was last week the end of last week and it looks like I just shipped it today it's supposed to be here tomorrow so we'll see how that works out but hopefully we'll have it soon and we can get that done and then we need to get this thing cleaned up it's awfully dirty uh, this pollen too as you can see here in North Carolina if you let something sit with the windows down at all i mean for for five minutes during the day it'll it'll be covered with pollen so all right we'll uh get that balance on it and uh like i said we're just waiting on it and when you when you take it for a test drive too so all right show you more okay folks we've got the balance in for the uh S10. See if we can take it out and hope it's in good shape here. Better late, I guess, than there, never to get it at all, right? All right, let me put the camera down here real quick. All right, looks good to me. Looks real good. I like it now we'll get it bolted on and we'll take that thing for a drive and i'll get this video posted all right okay folks we've got the uh the violence on the s10 and everything but paint and you can still see i got pollen on it so you know as dirty as can be but it you know I, I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna paint it. I'm probably just gonna let somebody get it like that But uh, the balance went on good and looks fine You know, it's not uh, it's not a perfect truck because it needs body work and paint But well little dings and dents taken out and paint, but you know, I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna move it on like it is uh, We'll take it down the road here once Okay, she's running pretty good uh, you can see the airbag lights on and that's it uh, I've drove it around a little bit so I mean we know the check engine lights not gonna come on it's got it's idling 
about 110 degrees on the temperature so and it's idling at uh, uh what is it 45 pounds maybe so we got good oil pressure no problem there so uh everything's good to go charging system's fine got a half tank of gas in it and let me see i've got this you know the stereo was already gone i've got one right here pulled out of a junk car pioneer i'd rather have a stock one but we'll put it put this back in it we got the harness that was with this in a nissan i think but uh everything's marked so we'll be able to change the wires over and between this adapter and that adapter we'll be able to uh get it hooked up and uh i haven't put the other airbag in that's where the airbag lights on and i haven't decided what i'm going to do yet whether i'm going to cut it out and then just glue the plastic up there or if i'm going to uh put the other one in it i don't know how hard it is to change but i haven't really checked but i mean if i'm not going to take the whole damn dash off just to just to change the airbag out and uh like i said i'll let whoever gets it know what's uh what's what on that but we'll take her down the road here Looks like I might have a wheel sensor on the ABS. I have to check the codes on it. Anyway, that's the first time that's come on. Pretty peppy to be a little uh, little truck. Transmission shift's good. Appreciate everybody watching. Bye.